Alright, uh, magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. Uh, welcome po sa bagong show natin every Wednesday and uh, Saturday. Uh, every 5pm to 6pm, ito po ang inyong lingkod mentor Myron Santa Ana, the corporate enter trainer and soft skills guru of the Philippines. Welcome po sa ating kwentawanan, kwentuhang may kwenta at tawanan episode 1. At ako po grabe, excited na excited po ang inyong lingkod kasi uh, dalawa po sa pinakamalulupit ng mga thought leaders or social media influencers ay uh, napapayag po natin na uh, makasama po tayo sa kwentuhang ito. Pero bago po tayo magsimula at bago ko po uh, i-introduce yung aking uh, mga guest na kakwentuhan, uh, magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. It's a very cool, anong araw ba ngayon? <laughs> Bigla nakalimutan ng araw. Wednesday, yon Wednesday, May uh, 6, 2020 and uh, 5 o'clock na po. Sa lahat po ng mga followers ng inyong lingkod sa www.facebook.com forward slash the corporate enter trainer. Sa more than 10,000 na po ata ang ating followers. Sana po ay hindi nyo mamiss ito. Sana ay nagtutune in na kayo lahat. At sana ay uh, you can do us a big favor by sharing this with your family, relatives, friends, co-workers, Neighbors at kahit estranghero, basta connection mo sa Facebook, pakishare po itong ating uh, kwentuhang magaganap. And uh, i-discuss ko lang, oh, bakit ba kwentawanan ang uh, programa o ang title ng ating online show? Kwentawanan kasi sa mga nakalipas na araw mula nang tayo mag-go on ECQ, no? mula nang tayo mag-work from home, home-based lahat tayo. Okay? So, nagpapasalamat tayo sa maraming mga organisasyon at individual na nag-o-offer ng free webinars or online trainings. Talagang uh, ma-appreciate mo yung ano eh, yung uh, hindi pagiging uh, selfish at pagiging uh, ma-appreciate natin yung pagiging generous ng iba't ibang organisasyon na ito, no? Yung bang tipong kahit na livelihood or bread and butter nila ang training, speaking, consultancy, etc. ay eh, uh, minabuti nila na makatulong na lang no maglend ng uh, helping hand sa pamamagitan ng pag-organize ng mga free webinars. Biruin mo yan no. They could just spend quality time with their loved ones sa bahay pero naisip nila na mag-organize ng mga webinars para patuloy na nadadagdagan, patuloy na nag-i-improve, patuloy na nagko-correct yung ating mga knowledge and skills. Pero naisip ko na para nga uh, ibahin sa nang uh, itweak a little bit yung uh, nature ng ating programa because there are already so many free webinar providers out there focusing on the skill set, on the competencies, on the how-to. Sabi ko, siguro kailangan din para balance yan, no? hindi lang yung correction, improvement, enhancement ng knowledge and skills. Pero nandoon din yung, uh, yung enough motivation and inspiration. Kasi sabi nila, no, no matter how much you know, or no matter what you can do or do well, if your strength in character is not there, then uh, you might. I'm not saying you are surely gonna, but you might fail as well. Kaya importante din na may balance sa utak, sa ating nalalaman, may balance sa skills, sa kung anong kaya natin gawin, at may balance din sa puso. Kaya hopefully guys, ma-appreciate nyo ito kasi hindi lang po ito very formal na usapan. Alright? Pagkukwentuhan natin kung paano nagtagumpay ang mga guest resource people natin, yung kanilang humble beginnings and how they got to where they are now and whatever their personal definition of uh, success is. Nang may uh, halong uh, kwentuhan din na so hopefully eh, mag-enjoy kayo sa palitan ng mga discussions naming lahat. Okay, well, so much for that. Once again, guys, if you guys are always tuning in sa Facebook page, go ahead and share this with all of your uh, connections or followers on Facebook. You may also share this outside of Facebook sa mga other social media and social networking channels niyo. Okay, so wag na natin patagalin itong ating kwentuhan. Once again guys, nanonood po kayo ng episode 1 ng ating kwentawanan. Kwentuhang may kwenta at tawanan kasama ang ilan sa mga sikat at magagaling na motivational and inspirational speakers, entrepreneurs, thought leaders, at social media influencers. Okay, so it is my honor and pleasure to introduce to you our two guest uh, resource people for uh, this afternoon. Yung pong ating first resource person ay isang international trainer and speaker. Alam mo, sinusundan ko po itong uh, ating guest na ito at talaga namang more often than not sa loob ng buong taon ay eh, lagi na sa ibang bansa. Recently lang, eh, uh, nag-stay siya for a long time doing lots of training work 
on behalf of his company sa Africa. So ganito kalupit yung ating uh, speaker. At uh, he also identifies himself as ASTIG. That's an acronym that stands for a speaker trusting in God. So we're gonna give him the chance to tell us more about that. So uh, i-welcome po natin ang ating first of two guest resource person, si Coach Adrian Del Rosario. All right, and then kasama din po natin, <clears throat> ayan, ay okay. uh, second guest resource person naman natin ay ang founder ng Modern Jedi Academy at isa lang naman siyang unit manager ng Aquest Financial Services. At gusto ko lang po idagdag yung additional info about him, no? He's also the founder of The Capital, a guild of financial coaches in the country. At uh, na-feature na rin several times as a featured entrepreneur sa kabuhayang Swak na Sak, Swak na Swak, on ABS-CBN, and then CNN Live. Let's all welcome, guys. So let's give them a virtual big round of applause. Si Coach Mil John Aguilar. Good afternoon, guys. Okay. What's up? What's up? What's up? Ah, mabuti, mabuti. Magandang hapon sa iyo, Mentor Myron. MJ, magandang hapon. Uh, blessed day. Magandang hapon po sa inyo lahat. Okay, na, kita mo naman yan, ha, guys. Ha? Tatlo kami dito, <laughs> kaya huwag na pong i-compare ang aming mga face values kasi wala akong panama sa dalawang guests ko ngayon. Nakaka-intimidate <laughs> 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 so, uh, talaga sila, guys. Pero okay lang yan kasi ang uh, atin namang kwentuhan, eh, kwentawan na naiikot sa kanilang dalawa. So, Coach Adrian and Coach MJ, How have your days been so far? Paano niyo po na panatiling productive ang inyong mga sarili sa ating uh, national situation? Let's start with uh, Coach Adrian. Okay, maraming salamat. Myron, again, uh, before I start, uh, gusto ko lang batiin lahat ng mga followers mo, libu-libong followers mo, tsaka ni MJ. Magandang hapon po sa inyo lahat. Uh, of course, yung sa mga ibang kaibigan ko sa EC community. And of course, my vice president is watching right now. Hello, Sir Arnel. Maraming salamat po. Anyway, uh, sabi nila lockdown eh. Ako, ako, I don't think it's a lockdown eh. I call it a slowdown. Medyo bumaga lang pero alam mo, Coach Ma Ma Mentor uh, Myron and uh, Coach MJ, mas naging busy pa ako ngayon eh. <laughs> fact, parang kulang pa yung 24 hours kasi dati parang nakafocus tayo sa, ako ah, nakafocus lang doon sa isang aspeto ng buhay which is uh, well our bread and butter which is speaking here and abroad. So uh, brought uh, by my company pero ang uh, ngayon po ay eh, nakapag-focus ako sa iba't ibang aspeto ng buhay na diyan yung family, 'di ba? Yung family natin, yung life skills na tinatawag, mas productive actually. nag enjoy ako pero siyempre we want ano uh, makalabas din, 'di ba? So mas productive at uh, so far I believe I'm getting better. <laughs> Yun. Ang ganda nung ano ha, gusto ko lang uh, gagamitin ko na yan moving forward at uh, yung slow down, hindi pala tayo naka-lockdown. Uh, slow yeah. down pa lang. <laughs> bumaga lang, bumagal, bumagal. Uh, thank you Coach Adrian ha, sa pag-recognize ng aking thousands of followers. Uh, akala mo lang, pero mga kamag-anak ko yan. Yung iba tinapot ko para <laughs> like ang Facebook. <laughs> Okay, thank you and welcome again. Salamat sa iyong oras at uh, selflessness, Coach Adrian. And of course, let's welcome as well, Coach uh, MJ. Kumusta? Uh, Coach MJ, yung teka, teka yung... <laughs> okay, ayan. Right. One more time, Coach MJ. Alright, so one more time. So again, magandang hapon po sa ating mga viewers ngayon. Magandang hapon at... Good day! Uh, welcome sa first episode ng ating kwentawanan. Kwentuhang may kwenta at tawanan. So, again, um, gusto kong magpasalamat sa iyo, Myron, uh, for this opportunity. Um, salamat sa pag sa amin dito to just reach out, um, inspire people. And ako, agree, din, agree also sa namin mo. No? A lot of information right now in the internet, in Google, in YouTube. A lot of it, lahat tinuturo how to. No? Paano magpayaman, para magpa-sexy. But agree ako sa namin mo na hindi enough ang how to for us to be successful or to be able uh, for us to be able to reach our goals kasi kung if how to's are enough di sana maraming milyonaryo at sexy right. na ngayon di ba so right. ang ganda ng mission mo um uh, Myron is really more about uh taking care and developing our character about who we are and i'm with you in supporting you with this mission through your kantawanan kwentawanan um episode <laughs> 
<laughs> okay na yan, Coach MJ. It really takes getting used to the kwentawanan. Pero guys, akala nyo pa, libre itong kwentawan natin. Ita-charge ko kayo mamaya for for exposure. <laughs> <laughs> Tama. <laughs> May bayan pala. <laughs> pero, pero mura lang to, mura lang. 1,000 pesos lang. Ayos, ayos, ayos. <laughs> eh, joke lang, joke lang. Parang ano eh, parang na, na, na surprise tuloy si, ano, si Coach Adrian at si Coach MJ. Abay, chat-charge mo pala kami sa exposure na to. <laughs> okay. Hindi uh, pa right. na mo, no? So, so uh, excited na ako na makakwentuhan itong mga panalo na ako syempre sa kanilang success uh, journey, no? Pero syempre, I would uh, rather, uh, you know, have the introduction of themselves and their uh, humble beginnings and then their journey to success come from them mismo. So this time, magsimula naman ako kay Coach MJ. Coach MJ, can you tell us uh, about uh, what you do, what you're affiliated with? And uh, ako, very interested ako malaman yung more about Modern Jedi Academy, si Aquest Financial Services, saka si uh, The Capital. Go ahead, Coach MJ. Thank you for that wonderful introduction, Mentor Myro. No? Well, basically, for the last four years, I've help thousands of people around the country to design their financial group blueprint that allowed them to earn more, manage their money, grow their money, protect their money without giving up their travel goals, family goals, and relationship goals. So that's basically what I've been doing for the past four years. Um, in talking about AQUEST um, financial coaches and the capital, the capital actually came from AQUEST. So it's actually a personal development coaching and training company. Na this guys and we have this guys as a life insurance team. So life insurance is actually our vehicle in terms of helping people earn more money, grow their money, manage their money. But our core is really about personal development. So when you come or attend in one of our trainings or workshops or the programs that we do. It's centered around developing who you are, developing around your character. It's again what I've mentioned before, di ba? Kung enough na how to. Um, it is na marami na successful ngayon, di ba? So That's it's okay. really, our foundation is building your character, building who you are. And for the years that we've been working together, we've helped thousands of people, also companies. Um, one of the companies that we actually help um, Actually, malayo, you know, from finances, we have uh, we have the Andox, um, several companies like even not companies like a uh, sports team. Okay, if you remember Lyceum, um, sa NCAA, their basketball team. Um, before we came into their organization, laging nasa mababa or kolelak sila in terms of the NCAA. But once we intervene and in the corporate namin yung programs that we have, um, nag, nakaabot sila ng finals. So, we've been doing a lot of disruptions in terms and innovations in terms of financial services industry. Um, and because of that, nagkaroon ako ng heart to also help other sales people or other sales leaders to also innovate what they're doing. Because a lot of sales leaders or unit managers right now the way they operate is still the way they operate 10, 20, 30 years ago. Like the type of leadership that they do. Ano ba yung leadership na, na program sa atin? Yung command and control leadership. Yung boss lang yung nagsasalita palagi. Yung leader lang yung nagsasalita palagi. People doesn't have any chance or doesn't have any opportunity to be heard. So I think there's a lot of... Um, amazing things that we've been doing and modern jedi academy is all about helping sales leaders unit managers in um life insurance industry or perhaps i can also help another um in some industries that also involve leading sales um to help them build a culture of stress free help them help their agents or advisors be more productive without actually micromanaging their people and even forcing them in attending boring meetings. So <laughs> that's what it is all about. Ano, Coach MJ, yung coach and control, lalong-lalong na na most of our workforce ay composed of millennials, hindi na namin talaga effective, ano? Kasi Mama usually, adun. ayaw na nagpapakontrol, di ba? Tama nga doon. Tama, iba-iba iba ang generation natin ngayon, um, especially on the rise of millennials and um, Gen Z. 
And I think a lot of companies, um, organizations also rethink on how they um, operate uh, their workforce. Because right now, 2020, 50% of our workforce right now are millennials. And it's predicted that by the end of 2075, we will be dom workforce will be dominated by millennials and Gen Z. So if they don't learn how to attract these people or even retain these people, um, baka medyo delikado yung future ng company or ng organization. Certainly, thank you. Uh, mm -hmm. Coach MJ, na, na curious ako kung bakit Modern Jedi Academy. Nung una, iniisip ko siguro uh, big Star Wars geek or fan itong si Coach MJ. No? Tama ba? <laughs> Tama na doon, no? Tama na doon. Apart from being a Star Wars fan, okay, nakita ko lang doon that this Jedi can actually bend reality. And that's that's what we're doing right now. We're actually bending reality and we're challenging the old thoughts and beliefs na nakalakayan natin, such as study hard, get a good job, get good grades, then eventually build a family. So there's a lot of thoughts that, like working hard, no? um, a lot of motivational speakers or um, enter successful entrepreneurs, like in the no? they party, once they party, I work, while they sleep, I work. Right now, it's not even relevant anymore. Okay? Hindi to, ano, hindi to pasipagan magtrabaho. It's actually um, working hard or even learning how the laws of the universe work because there are actually laws of the universe, even though we believe it or not, like law of gravity. Maniwala tayo dyan, oh, hindi. Pag tumulang tayo sa building, manalaglag tayo. Diba? So there are actually several laws of um, in the universe that actually working like laws of uh, attraction, law of vibration, um, madami, that once we learn how these laws work, we can work through it and actually hack or speed up our success or whatever we want to manifest in life. So that's what bending reality is all about. Okay, astig ano, oh, guys, sa mga gustong maging padawan ni Coach MJ, oh, mamaya, bibigyan ko kayo ng opportunity. <laughs> bibigyan ko kayo ng opportunity para makontact siya. Ah. Alright, thank you, Coach MJ. And of course, let's turn naman kay Coach Adrian. Can you tell us about uh, what you've been doing, uh, what your profession or practice is? Uh, we are also curious about being an international trainer and speaker. <laughs> okay. Anyway, maraming salamat, uh, ano, Mentor Myron. So yung international speaker parang napakalaki kong iisipin pero ang nangyari kasi ganito. Ako ay uh, affiliated ngayon or uh, in-house trainer if I may, may mention the company Myron of course I'm very thankful for this uh, uh, for this company uh, in global uh, mayroong campaign uh, of uh, uh, empowering. I-charge ko na lang i-charge ko na lang din sila ng uh, exposure. <laughs> <laughs> so ang campaign is uh, the easy community or empowering uh, ordinary people giving them chance to be you know uh, to be successful in life, maging a business person, maging a entrepreneur, whoever they may be, wherever they uh, may be, yun po ang uh, um, battle, battle cry ng uh, kumpanya. So I've been with this company for ano ba, 11 years na <laughs> as, an, as a trainer, pero I started... Parang meron po sa doon. Nandito sila, nanonood yung mga iba eh. Ha? Para mas matagal pa ako, nag, nag post ka in between eh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> nanonood sila. So, uh, uh, pero I started as a distributor. Kung alam naman yun, siguro one way or the other, you were invited by uh, mga distributors no? so, to try out some products and services. So, pero after one and a half year lang, I was uh, absorbed by the company. Ayun na, naging part na ako ng training uh, team. And then uh, after uh, two, three months, yata, if I'm not mistaken, if I me my memory serves me right, after three months, pinadala na ako sa Africa because magba-branch out sa Africa. So, nagsimula sa Nigeria and then from then on, so, syempre, maraming challenges pero after three months, lumaki din eh. Right now, we are, uh, we have presence in West Africa and East Africa. In fact, meron din sa Europe tapos kalat na rin sa ibang bansa. Yan. So, basically, wow. parang yung ginagawa rin ni BMJ. Ayun, ah, actually, <laughs> Wakanda forever. <laughs> so, <laughs> para may connection sa Jedi Wakanda, you know? <laughs> So, basically, parang yung ginagawa rin ni ano ni Coach MJ na we support, no? We we develop people. So, from uh, wherever who may uh, whoever they may be, walang experience, they have experience, we help them. We uh we uh, ako, ako part of the team to uh, assist them one of their links in building their business. With, hindi lang sa business, pati yung development ng uh, pagkatao, yung values. Kasi kahit ganong kagaling, 
pag may problema naman sa values, attitude, so dapat holistic ang approach natin sa business, hindi lang sa business, kundi pati sa buhay. So, the company supports uh, in all aspects, no? yung gaya nung kinuwento ko kanina, hindi lamang dun sa skills, pati dun sa mga ibang aspeto ng buhay. So, yan, may, uh, yan ang ginagawa ko for the last ano ba, 11 years, kaya yung sinabi mong sa Africa. <laughs> Every six months of the year, nasa Africa po ako. And, uh, May mga ngilan-ngilan pumupunta rin ng Dubai, Singapore, and other ano, uh, Asian countries. Yan. Medyo okay. na, nausog lang ngayon. No? May positive side talaga. <laughs> nausog ng kaunti na ang pagstay ko sa Philippines with my family kasi instead of flying out nitong May, nausog na siguro indefinite pa. Pero yung presence pa rin naman ng kumpanya nandun kasi we have this uh, Zoom training parang ganito. Every day, in fact, two to three times a day. Kaya sabi ko kanina when we were starting, mas naging busy pa and in fact mas maraming na reach kasi because of technology. Yan. I'm, pre I'm pretty sure coach Adrian dahil pabalik-balik ka sa Africa, you can already speak a few uh, Swahili, tama ba? <laughs> Swahili, uh, Pidgin, Hafa, Aude, Chinese, Gozi, iba-iba eh. So, <laughs> yung iba nakakalimutan ko, uh, pero pagdating mo doon, sinasabi na yung very powerful yung sinasabi kanina may may, may counting sa wig doon sa binanggit ni coach MJ about yung association, being associated with people, you become who you associate yourself with, di ba? Siyempre, pag nandito, nakalimuta ko. Pero pagbalik ko doon from uh, magsalita, umain, mag, uh, even minsan yata, pati itsura, <laughs> naging kamo. Nakakapagsalita in uh, amazing. Pagbalik mo doon, you can speak and understand their language. And I think it's very important nowadays, uh, lalo na yung sa nangyari ngayon, yung pagiging adaptable and flexible. So, so far, I think, yung experience ko sa Africa... <laughs> pinrepera ko sa itong nangyayari ngayon uh, isa dun is pagiging adaptable or flexible sa mga nangyayari <laughs> okay thank you so much ayan po guys so now you know a little more about coach MJ and coach Adrian bago po tayo magpatuloy sa susunod na tanong natin sa mga guests natin ay iniimbitahan lang po natin lahat ng mga nanonood not only to share this but to uh, involve yourselves actively by uh, asking questions para sa ating guest resource people ha so, i-acknowledge ko lang yung mga so far ay eh, uh, nag-comment na sa ating live video comments. So, nananood si Ms. Ernea Robles. Sabi niya, good afternoon po, sir. Yes, and thank you po for sharing knowledge to everyone. Ayan, and sa watch party naman natin, tingnan natin. Sa watch party, wala pa. It's either wala pa or walang nanonood. The joke lang. <laughs> okay. Meron yung... Uh, sige, mag, uh, magpatuloy tayo. Of, of course, yung pinakatalagang uh, habol namin lahat dito, Coach MJ and Coach Adrian, ay yung ma-share ninyo yung inyong humble beginnings. Before MJ and before the Adrian of now, for sure you guys came somewhere. You had your challenges at first, right? You had your humble beginnings. So, yung next question ko is, uh, paano kayo nagsimula? And how did you surpass everything to be who you are right now? Let's start with Coach MJ. Yeah, um, maganda pag-usapan to, no? Well, actually, just to clarify, no, I'm not yet where I want to be. Marami po po kakainin, uh, marami po ko kailangan magdaan ng experience and everything. Uh, but I can say, oh, of course, I have accomplishments, but I can say marami po po pagdadaanan. Okay, I cannot even match uh, my accomplishments and my experience with these powerful men that I'm surrounded with right now. <laughs> Um, but yeah, just to share you a little bit of paano ko nagsimula, um, I think one of the biggest turnaround of my life is, I think that's year 2014. In year 2014, I was uh, still studying in college back then. Uh, I have to go Excuse lucky. Coach MJ, uh, magpapatugtog ba ako ng, uh, ng background sound ng malaala mo kaya? Pwede, pwede, pwede. Pwede. Siguro. <laughs> so, nasa right. sa inyo po yun. Ano? Ayan. So, I was um, studying in college back then. No? I can say na ano, happy go lucky. Ganyan. Um, so, mamaya malalaman mo kung iiyak kayo, no? Ano lang. Let's go. Take a deep breath. Inhale. And exhale. So, ayan. Um, so, masabi ko na, na ang layo ng naging ako sa so, unong 2014 MJ, no? Kasi talagang big semestrios yung school ko, no? It's because probably parang nakalatag na yung future ko, eh. I just know na uh, pagkatapos ko ng college, yung ginagawa ng daddy ko, nasa construction business siya, yun lang din ang gagawin ko. Even though ang course ko ay mas ko. And 
well, I, I feel, and that time, I can say that we're living a comfortable life. Um, was in studying in a prestigious university, and back then, I was already driving a BMW. Um, it's probably because my dad loves us so much that he will do anything and everything he can just for us to provide a good life. Um, but we didn't know that that time or my father will actually be diagnosed with cancer. Um, kasi si daddy wala siyang ano no, wala siyang isyo. Um, sabay pa kami nag-work out three times a week. So, it's nakakagulat talaga yon sa, sa family namin. And knowing that my dad is a businessman, um, yung pera kasi umiikot, so hindi, medyo hindi kami prepared eh, in of finances. Um, may pasweldo, may mga expenses, ganyan, hirap pa paningin ng mga clients, and he doesn't have any life insurance coverage. So, Fast forward, he didn't survive. Um, we have to sangla yung bahay, masasagyan, we have to stop school. And I think that's the time that I decided to step up, even though I didn't graduate college, to start actually working. So I'm not saying that my father is bad or irresponsible because he doesn't have any life insurance. But probably, just no one cared enough to talk, talk about how important life insurance is to a lot of Filipinos and to my dad. So fast forward, I started in sales. Um, of course, it's struggled. Um, but right now, um, hindi ko rin mararating kung ano yung narating ko ngayon without the mentors that I've met along the way. Um, without my commitment of learning and just growing and getting feedback from these excellent people. Uh, so yun, um, that's the reason why I do what I do right now, um, is to actually end the sandwich generation here in the Philippines because I feel it's been a cycle already. A lot of Filipinos, when they reach 60 to 65, only two things happen. Number one, they cannot retire. Um, Magahanap ng racket sa tindahan or kung ano, na pwedeng pagkakitaan ni Lola Lola. Or second thing is, they become dependent with their children. Mm-hmm. So that's my mission. That's um, what I want to impart. Um, here in our country. That's why hindi rin po ko tumitigil, um, gumising. I think my my vision right now is just beyond helping my family, but also helping our country right now. So, yun lang po ang aking maikling introduction kung paano po ako nagsisipan. <laughs> Pero, uh, Coach MJ, narinig ko sa'yo na you weren't able to finish college because you had to work right away. Pero, Nowadays, did you have the chance to continue your your study sa college or? I have a lot of chances. Maraming nagkasasabi, um, but hindi ko na rin po pinili. Kasi so far, no, if I just may share with you, hindi na po ako naniniwala sa education system natin ngayon. Um, I think it's not even relevant in terms of um, paano ka magiging successful sa buhay. Um in terms of the subjects na pinag-aaralan. So, sorry po, no, hindi po ako natakot to share this with you. But I think, I'm not saying school is bad. Um, probably one of the biggest thing or the biggest value na matututo na school is of discipline. Um, nagumising ng maaga, to finish the projects na kailangan natin matapos in the deadline, to do our homeworks because as an entrepreneur, um, hindi lang tayo bara-bara eh. We, we have to do our research, do our homeworks like, this, uh, bago po na put up itong live na to, may homeworks dyan, may preparation. And that's also one of the biggest value na pwede natin makuha sa school. And also making friends. Because what, kung sino yung network mo, yan din yung size ng network mo ngayon. So it's also valuable to meet a lot of people, build your your connections, expand your horizons, um, give more value your network because this can actually help you succeed in life. So for me, success is not just a destination. It's actually a byproduct or a result of how you add value to the world. So the more you add value, the more you help more people, um, results will just follow. Success will just follow. Kaya dito ganito kaya ginagawa mo ngayon, Mentor Myron, no? Ang kaya sa kwentuhan natin, you've been doing live every day. That means you're just giving, you're just going out there, giving value to a lot of people. So that's what inspires me so much with what you've been doing. Uh, Mentor Myron. Yeah. Oh, yeah, na guys, ha, natutunan natin kay Coach MJ. 
na huwag kang uh, malungkot, okay? Huwag kang maubusan ng pag-asa, hindi dahil sa hindi ka nakatapos ng college na wala kang ma-achieve sa buhay. Yeah. Ayan, guys, anong natutunan natin doon sa lahat ng mga nanonood dyan? Okay, mag-drop out na kayo, mag-negosyo na lang kayo. Joke lang, joke, joke lang. <laughs> joke, joke lang. Joke, joke lang. Kwentawanan nga eh, kaya kailangan natin mag-joke. <laughs> hey guys, ano yan? Ang sinasabi lang ni Coach uh, MJ na it's it's always a choice or a decision. It will also bring you far if you finish your college studies kasi it's also tested and proven na may mga naging successful din na mga college graduates pero once again hindi siya mandatory or requirement kasi nasa atin din yan eh kasi so, tapos tayo or hindi pag may diskarte tayo sa buhay may mararating tayo tama po ba coach MJ and coach Adrian tama <laughs> all right thank you coach MJ coach Adrian uh, kayo naman po ha? interesado kami ng uh, pakinggan ang storya ni uh, Mr. Astig <laughs> okay ako dami kasi ano eh, turning point eh pero siguro yung pinaka turning point kasi bago ako ma-involve sa uh, sa networking uh, business, ano ko eh, uh, manager ako, mataas ang posisyon ko. I, I run a multi-million business company, pero empleyado ako, ako yung pinaka-head. So ang na. nag-invite sa akin, <laughs> nag-invite sa akin yung uh, isa sa mga tauhan ko. And then, uh, of course, I joined, to cut the story short, I joined. And then, uh, so far, it was doing well. Kaya lang, siyempre, dadating yung crisis, eh, yung katulad nito, na you are not prepared. Ang problema, if you are not prepared. So, matigas ang ulo, may ego, ayaw makinig. So, kasi for the first few months, kumikita ng malaki at uh, talagang doble sa halos kinikita ko in a short period of time. So, ayaw makinig. So, kaya nung dumating yung crisis, nagkaroon ng problema. So, ano yung crisis? Ha? Di, kakat ko na lang dito. Um, isang taong kami hindi makabayad ng bahay. <laughs> Pinal- pinalayas kami nung aming landlady. <laughs> okay? So, ganun ka ano, ha? sabi ko, ang sungit naman itong landlady na to kasi isang taon lang hindi makabayad eh. Para nagre-reklamo yung aso ko, ang pasensya na. Uh, Managugutom na yung aso natin. <laughs> teka, teka. Nag- nagalit yung aso, yung aso. Na- 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 naalala kasi yung landlady. Hindi. Uh, anyway, okay. so for... <laughs> sorry, I, 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 sorry, pasensya na. na- narinig yung landlady. Alam naman nating okay. lahat na nasa bahay tayong lahat kaya okay lang yan. Norm- yan ang new Pasensya normal. Kahit, uh, sinara ko na eh, sinara ko na lahat. Pasensya na. Anyway, so uh, yun nga sabi ko, pinalayas kami tapos there were times na um, for two weeks, I can't forget those days, no? Two weeks na halos wala kaming ano ulam. Alam mo ba, yung kaya sanay ako rito sa ano na to eh, itong ano <laughs> uh, crisis na to. Oh, natatanda ko noong 2009, I think 2000 it was 2009, latter part of 2009. After kumita ng malaki, latter part nawala. So two weeks kamati sang inuulan. Imagine. And I've been speaking, uh, part of part na ako ng speaking uh, speakers bureau, hindi man international trainer. So parang medyo mahirap talaga. And then uh, I, I I thought of quitting, pero sabi ko Buti na lang, ha, nakinig ako sa asawa ko. It, it pays ano <laughs> it pays to listen. Sabi niya, ba't ka maki? Kaya kayo mga kalalakihan, ha, makinig kayo sa wife nyo. Listen to your wife. Ha. That's ano isang malaking lesson. Si, si, si MJ, hindi ko alam kung mayroon ng asawa si MJ. Si Myron, may asawa yun. Wala pa. Oh, wala pa, wala pa. O oh, yan, ha, MJ, makinig. O oh, sa... Sa girlfriend mo o sa, mga asa- sa magiging asa mo, you have to, it pays to listen. No? Talagang makinig tayo. And uh, isa sa turning point nyo, kasi I'm, about, I'm in the verge of com- going back to the uh, to the, uh, the old me working for somebody else. no So hindi natin gusto yun, di ba? Pero sabi niya, nasa puso mo ang uh, gawin yan at alam mo ito yung pwedeng mag- uh, uh, transform sa buhay natin. Eh. So nakinig ako sa kanya to, uh, to uh, dumiretso. And then, uh, yung nagbigay sa akin ng break dalawa eh. Yung nanonood ngayon, si Sir Arnel Limpin. So, binigyan akong break magsalita. Tsaka yung uh, isa sa may-ari. And then, uh, from then on, after one year, no, hindi naman ganun katagal yung talagang dusa. Kung baga crisis, alam nyo ba yung difficult time ngayon? <laughs> ganun, ganun, one year. Can you imagine? Walang pang load. Okay? But, when, you know, but if you are, uh, if you really believe in what you do, no, meron kang faith in what you're doing, It's not where you are right now. Eh. Hindi kung nasan ka eh. Kung saan ka dadalhin dun sa nung ginagawa mo. And then, you know, when blessings came, yung favor, yung uh, opportunity, 
ready ako eh sa opportunity kasi kahit dumating yung opportunity, if you're not ready for the opportunity, problema yan. So, dapat ready ka na. So, minaster ko yung craft. Kaya pagdating ng opportunity, nabigyan akong chance na to be part of this uh, international uh, training team doon nagsimula na I can speak daw, sabi nga sa akin ni Sir Arnel tsaka nung isa sa may-ari, si Sir John. Sabi niya, why don't you join us and be part of the management? And then the rest is history. And then another owner saw my potential. Pinadal na ako sa ibang bansa. So, yun yun eh. Uh, iba talaga pag minaster mo yung craft mo, tapos minahal mo, naniwala ka, uh, you'll go a long way. Definitely you will survive uh, any crisis because yung crisis, itong crisis na to, I'm, I'm sure it will uh, go away. Pero yung buhay na binibigay ng, uh, yung crisis na binibigay ng buhay, hindi matatapos yan eh. So let this, uh, what's happening right now, let it be a learning for all of us. We have to experience, and that's why yung lagi ko sinasabi, we have to equip, no? equip yung sarili natin, hindi lang sa aspeto ng, isang aspeto ng buhay. Nandyan yung skills na sinabi ni, binanggit ni, ni, uh, ni Coach MJ yung skills, nandyan din yung sabi niya, yung mindset, yung yung pagiging uh, ano, uh, tamang pananaw, and among others, yung uh, ang dami po. So, kaya nagtagumpay. And uh, of course, nandiyan din yung isa sa mga mentor ko, yung pastor, yung aming pastor, si Pastor A. Yan. So, malaking kinalaman po noon kasi isa sa kasama yun doon sa turn, uh, ano, turning point eh, ng buhay ko. Noong 2010 yun, I, I can't uh, forget those uh, days. One year of parang crisis, ano, COVID-19 days. Parang ganun. Can you imagine? Pero nakalampas. <laughs> so I'm sure makakalampas tayong lahat dito. <laughs> Correct. Uh, Kayang-kaya natin yan. The, the choice is not to just to survive but to surpass. And that's how yes. we will. Alam mo, Coach MJ, meron akong tatlong natutunan kay uh, Coach Adrian. Ano? Una, ah, let's ah, ah. turn our adversity into prosperity instead. So yun nga, he, great, he made the great leap of faith after uh, working sa corporate world. Pero kahit na nakarana siya ng problema, ang ginawa niya, hindi siya nag sa problema. Yung kanyang uh, pagkain ng kamatis, yung mga <laughs> challenges nilang mag-asawa noong time na yun. Alright? He converted the... He just focused on the solution, left behind the problem, and now, di ba, he's uh, reaping the fruits of his labor. Pangalawang natutunan ko kay Coach Adrian, makinig palagi sa asawa. <laughs> yo, nako. Ako na yung maaga, no? <laughs> okay, pag natali ka na, ah, Coach MJ, alam mo na ngayon. Ah. <laughs> At ang pangatlo kong natutunan ano, na sa lahat ng endeavor natin sa buhay, Coach MJ, ano, dapat ah, hindi lang basta aralin natin, i-master natin, dapat matutunan natin, ma-appreciate at better yet, mahalin yung ginagawa natin. Sabi nga nila, if you're already in that stage, right, you will never hate your job and you, you will always wake up every single day excited to do the same thing over and over, no? Oh, ang uh, let me add ano sir my uh, mentor Myron it's, it's not just being in love uh, be, be loving what you do is staying in love in what you do kasi pag in love ka parati di ba pag in love ka parati wala lahat yan di ba so madali so the, the, yung challenge is staying in love di ba <laughs> sa ginagawa uh, i couldn't say it any better coach uh, Adrian <laughs> by the way uh, baris bati lang natin yung mga panibagong nanonood uh, dumagdag ito may nagcomment oh pakita natin Okay, uh, para makita nila. All right, ayan, sabi ni uh, Okay, nawala. Okay. Yan, sabi ni Mr. Butch Villena, good afternoon, brother Astig. Ah, yan ang uh, isa sa ano ko mentor yan sa health, sa uh, ano, medical doctor, a good speaker as well. Uh, he's also part of the uh, training uh, international trainers uh, assigned in Africa. Doc Butch Magandang hapon sa inyo. <laughs> Nanonood pala. Salamat sa pagtangkilik at pananood. Suporta kay Coach Adrian, Coach MJ, and then ayan, nanonood din si na Kath Lampinicio, si, uh, si Sir Noel Pasqua, si uh, Miss Navapi, si Bong, at si Eugene. Okay. Thank you so much. Once again, guys, sa lahat ng mga nanonood, you are with uh, Coach MJ the founder of Modern Jedi Academy and Coach Aiden Del Rosario, an international trainer and speaker and known as Astig, a speaker trusting in God. Once again, kung nagugusan niyo po ang aming kwentawanan, kwentuhang may kwenta, pero may itawanan din at the same time, eh, uh, please do us a big favor, ishare po natin ito. Kailangan maging viral ito para mas marami pa tayong audiences na ma-reach, na hindi lang uh, mabigyan ng mga tips kung paano maging successful, pero kung paano din magpatuloy ang kanilang motivation and inspiration sa buhay. Okay, ngayon ako naman at this point ang interesado naman ako no, yung uh, 
Kasi marami sa mga tao, no, kahit na sila ay uh, turuan natin kung paano, right? Yung mga what to know and how to do it and how to do it well. Isa talaga sa mga kalaban natin yung mga iba't ibang klase ng fear, eh, no? Fear of the unknown, fear of failure, fear of embarrassment, fear of rejection, fear of uncertainties. Parang ganito, no? Right ahead, no? So, ano po ba magagandang tips ang maipapayo nyo sa ating mga tagapanood para malabanan nila itong mga negative feelings na ito at uh, para ma-discover nila ang mga iba't ibang diskate makakapag-ahon sa kanila at makakapag-thrive despite adversity. Let's start with uh, Coach Adrian. Okay. Uh, siguro sa akin, ano eh, uh, kaya kasi uh, yung, yung mga fear na yan nandiyan. Number one, we don't have enough knowledge on the things that we need to do. Kasi kaya kami takot pag actually may takot ka pag hindi mo alam kung ano yung gagawin mo eh. Pero pag alam mo yung gagawin mo, I don't think na may, may takot pero hindi siya takot eh. You still do it. So what's important is to uh, to uh, know uh, the things that are needed for you to uh, to uh, the things that you need to do. Ah uh, yung uh, aralin mo yung uh, kailangan mong gawin, yung mga let's say you have products, you, you have the system, you have to uh, really uh, master. Yung gaya ng sinabi mo kanina, hindi lang it's not enough that we know. Kailangan maging master tayo. Kumbaga tayo yung parang uh, kilala sa area na yan. Pag sinabi nga sa kunyari, let's say nabanggit mo kanina yung uh, pakiimbit uh, prospecting or ano. So let's say ikaw dapat yung binanggit ko kanina yung pag Gary Valenciano when it comes to uh, ano um, inviting di ba parang ganun master eh. kasi iba alam ko na yan eh yung tipong ganun siguro iba kasi yung alam sa narinig eh. kasi iba yung alam sa narinig eh. yung iba kasi nandiyan yung nandiyan yung ego na tingin ko diyan eh alam ko na yan pero hindi naman nila alam baka narinig nila magkaiba po kasi yon so and also siguro maganda mag-concentrate tayo dun sa benefit ng gagawin gagawin na uh, benefit ng gagawin natin. Kasi most of the time, nagko-concentrate tayo dun sa ginagawa natin. Oh, nakatatlo na akong ganito. Ang dami ko nang kinausap. Natat nakatatlong sales call na ako. Pero wala. Pero always think of the benefit. No? Pag, pag nakafocus tayo sa benefit and results, hindi natin iindahin eh, yung mga ilan na nakausap mo, nanipasan ka ng gutom, hindi ka na naka, nakikita ng, mga, ng, ng, uh, ng asawa mo first, hindi mo natatawagan. <laughs> Pero dahil alam mo nga, alam mo nga, ginagawa mo to dahil kaya mo to ginagawa, nakafocus ka sa mga kuha mong benefits, I think uh, it's all worthwhile. Kaya benefits o yung uh, makukuha mo, resulta na makukuha mo instead of focusing on uh, the things that you need to do. Tingin ko yan ang makakasagot dyan sa mawawala yung mga fear na yan. Aside, apart from the being knowledgeable about your craft is the focus on the benefits. Yan. Ayun. Uh, ang ganda ng pagkakasabi mo, Coach Adrian, ano, kumbaga eyes on the goal talaga. Pag nakalock in oh. ka, panel vision ka sa goal, kahit na anong sakit, emotionally pa ang maranasan mo, rejection here and there, people questioning you, right, not believing in you na, Woo! pero pera lang yan, di ba? Kumbaga, hindi ka maaapektuhan kasi ang alam mo na meron at meron mangyayari, may resulta. Yes, right? agree. Yeah, agree. Yeah, so, Coach Adrian, eh how about naman si Coach MJ? Lalo na sa mundo ng financial coaching, for sure, madami din kayong mga challenges, rejections and all that, no? How do you deal with those? Um, well, unang-una, ang ganda nung shenare ni Coach Adrian, no, about dealing with fear. It's actually learning more about your craft, no? And I could actually agree more with with your research. Ang ganda ng tanong mo, no? Because I think what's happening around a lot of people right now are stuck. Because there's a lot of fear fears, worries, anxieties that's happening around. Now, um, this is actually one of the reasons why a lot of people are having a hard time um, in terms of achieving their success or achieving their desired results or their goals in the so, um, The reason why a lot of people are or are stuck is because nakabox lang tayo sa tinatawag nating comfort zone. Okay? okay? So, outside our comfort zone, like doing more calls or approaching more people or putting yourself online, um, reaching out to as many people as you can, um, sa labas nito, ang daming fears, um, fear of rejection, um, fear of judgment, fear of failure, um, baka mag-fail ako, baka mapahiya ako, fear of what other people will say about me. I don't know a lot of things, no? 
And I think I'd like to call that zone, okay, if we are back in our comfort zone, outside of comfort zone, is what we call now danger zone, okay? Mm-hmm. So itong danger zone na to, andito yung mga fears natin. Kaya feeling natin, ano to eh, uh, pag lumabas tayo sa comfort zone, it's dangerous eh. But yes. the thing is, probably there are some people watching right now, na, even even ako dati, no, ang um, pagkaming, kasi parang yung, yung daddy ko di, di, before, nung buhay siya siya, yung, yung stereotype na, um, hindi ko alam pag masaya siya or proud siya or happy siya pero alam ko pag galit siya alam niyo yun parang hindi siya masyadong nagpapakita ng emotion so kahit ako kunwari pag may healing ako kay daddy nun or may sasabihin ako kay daddy gusto ko lang mag-open ang gusto kong so medyo natatakot ako eh no? <laughs> so say, ibig sabihin hindi ko siya comfort zone di ba so danger zone yun para sa akin and a lot of things no? I think a lot of people can relate right now um, even no matter how how much information we read in Facebook posts or in YouTube, um, even how many workshops we've attended, a lot of people are still not taking action. Okay? So I think the first step here is getting awareness. Okay? Awareness of nasaan ba tayo ngayon? At saka saan natin gusto magpunta? Okay? Now, the second step is taking responsibility. Okay? So, since ngayon, aware na ako na andito ko ngayon at dito ko gusto magpunta, I would like to take responsibility to act in spite of fear. Okay. To step into my danger zone. Now, sa umpisa, hindi yan komportable, um, hindi yan masaya. Actually, tama, nakakatagot and uncomfortable. And marami talagang kapalpakan na kakaharapin tayo. But you know, these failures, this experience, dito tayo matututo eh, dito tayo gagaling. Um, lahat kasi may proseso eh. Um, hindi to isang one-time shot lang. No? The more experiences you take in your life and the more experiences that you do or you you expose yourself, the more you learn. That's why it doesn't matter, age doesn't matter right now anymore. Kasi kahit na mas matanda siya, mas marami kang experience, di ba? So, wala din. So, I think, um, fail forward, take opportunity, take these failures and disappointments as a learning opportunity for you to grow because the more you do it, the more you step into your danger zone, this can now become your effective zone. Okay? Mm-hmm. Now, kung lumalak yung effective zone mo, hindi mo na namamalayan, malapit ka na pala sa pangarap mo or hindi mo namamalayan, you're already stepping into your dream income, you're already stepping into your dreams, because yung mga bagay na kinakatakutan mo before is already your effective zone. So, the second step after taking responsibility is creating or choosing a dip, making a different choice. Okay? So, anong choice yung gagawin mo? Do you choose to be on, do you choose to be stuck? Or, you choose to be unstuck and move forward in spite of fear? So, yun lang po ang aring may share regarding that trip. Wow. Okay, tandaan yun guys ha. Unang-una, be aware. Pangalawa, take responsibility. And three, make better or tama ba? Uh, Coach MJ, make good choices, no? Tama ba? Tama. No, madagdag ko lang kasi hindi naman po talaga tayo mawawala ng fear eh. No? Even I think um, yung mga successful na tao ngayon, may mga fears tayo kasi tao lang naman tayo eh. Diba? Diba? Okay. Ano? Yeah, Android. No? So... <laughs> Even though how many success or kahit gaano kalayo yung marating natin in the future, there will always be another danger zone or another mountain for us yeah. to conquer. And my fears po yan lahat. So, so my choice right now is at in spite of fear every day. So until maging ano mo na to, effective zone mo na ito. That's um, right. So guys, ha, tandaan nyo sinabi ni Coach MJ, ha, hindi tayo Android. Tao tayo. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Coach MJ. Napakaganda. Coach Adrian, ano naman po ang inyong version ng same question natin? Teka, teka. Uh, hindi ko lang kung nakita mo. Naki- may dami kasi nagko-comment dito, Coach Myron. Eh. Pero nakita ko yung isa. Eh, no? So, my wife, sa, sa stream ko, eh, nag, uh, nag-comment. Eh. O, tamo, ah. Although she's using uh, her maiden name, si Clem Buenaventura. She's fall- I think she's, all- she's also following you. Sabi, kudos to Coach Myron. One of the most effective live stream anchors I've watched. Yeah. <laughs> so, 
Ayos. O kasi Ayun, marami pinapadala para madagdagan ng fans ko, no? Hello, oh, oh. hindi na mga asawang babae diyan, right? <laughs> <laughs> Ayun. Okay. So, uh Ayun, sorry, ano ano ba 'yung tanong mo? Nakalimutan ko tuloy. Na, nadala ko sa mga sinabi ni Coach MJ. Ganda kasi 'yung mga sinabi niya, talagang we know through the tayo, step by step. Step by step. Step by step. step, by step. step, by step. step, by step. How do we deal with yung mga challenges? Kasi 'di ba sabi natin kanina, kahit gaano kadami ang alam mo, kahit kahusay ka, pag mahina ang loob, tapos hindi natin kayang pakaharapan yung mga mga skeptic na yan, yung mga rejection na yan, parang ganun din eh. Aatras ka rin, babalik ka rin sa pinanggalingan mo. So, you personally, in your experience, Coach Adrian, how did you deal with those? Actually, ako eh, ano lang, maglalaro dun sa sinabi ko kanina, is having faith in what you do. So, kasi kung talagang, uh, well, naku, tumakatahol yung aso namin, narinig na naman yata, naalala naman yata dati yung landlady namin. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so, sumbo kita, kasama namin ng Jedi dito, lagot <laughs> Sorry about that sa mga nanonood. No? Pati kasi alam mo, Myron, ay Coach MJ, nakikita ko. Ang daming, hindi ko lang kung nakikita nyo rito. Dami nanonood from Africa eh. Pati mga trainers doon, they're all watching. Halos lahat. So, kamusta kayo dyan? Anyway, so again, is having faith in what you do. Yun, yun talaga eh. So, what do you mean by having faith? No? Talagang kailangan alamin mo eh. Yung, uh, yung, uh, yung uh, let's say again, going back, your products, your, pro- your, your business, yung kumpanya mo. Kasi kahit anong rejection, paninira, o kahit may lumabas, basta iba dyan, if you know uh, you are in a better company, you know, you have a great product, you have the best system, tapos I don't think uh, any uh, ano ba, uh, adversities, challenges could uh, sway you. Eh. Pra- pra- siguro, gaya ng sinabi ko kanina, it could slow you down. No? Just like what hap- uh, what's happening right now, it has slowed us down, eh, yung sa aming kumpanya. Pero tuloy-tuloy pa rin eh. We're still, we're, we are still operating in the whole of the Philippines, pati sa ibang bansa. In fact, we are still, uh, you know, paying distributors daily. So, medyo bumagal yung production nila ng, ng, ng easy community. Pero however, meron pa rin. Pero bakit hindi sila huminto in spite or despite of uh, this crisis, yung sinabing lockdown or slowdown, hindi sila na knockdown because they have this faith Uh, of course, with several factors uh, to our, uh, well, the owners, the products, the systems. And, uh, well, nararamdaman din nila siguro, I, I believe, yung aming presence with, uh, with uh, what we are doing right now. So, malaking factor talaga yung belief dun sa, sa mga ginagawa mo. Uh, aside from dun sa talagang sinabi ni, uh, ni Coach MJ, kasi talagang we knock through uh, niya tayo dun sa mga step by step na kailangan gawin. Plus, having the faith in uh, what you have and what you do. Okay, wala man ngayon pero I know soon it's only a matter of time makukuha mo yung uh, yung uh, yung goal or ch- uh, uh, achievements na gusto mo makuha. Yeah, kaya coach Adrian and coach MJ, wag na kayong mabigla kung sa next uh, a couple of years may mga magte-text na sa inyo mga nanood ngayon na sinasabi, <laughs> Coach MJ, Coach Adrian, salamat, naging milyonaryo ako dahil sa iyo. <laughs> okay. Siguro ako ako dyan, marami lang sa tabi kay ano. Uh, reach the final stage of our uh, one hour program kasi eh, I remember si uh, Coach MJ may meeting ng uh, ano, ano bago mag-6. <laughs> oh, so man. I'm gonna let uh, the both of you go na. Pero for the last time guys, uh, I will give this remaining three minutes for you to promote your business, to promote what you do, the value addition you can offer to your target market and audience. And of course, uh, share with them how they can get in touch with you after this show. So, mauna na tayo kay Coach MJ because he has to go in two minutes. Yeah, maraming salamat. Um, thank you for... Ay, sorry. Saka, ano ba ako? Saka, yes, ay, yes. May, may audio. All right. Yeah, again, uh, maraming salamat, uh, Myron, for this opportunity. And thank you for allowing me to um, pass by right before ano, um, 6 p.m. So, again, I'd like to thank you. Um, also, great meeting with you, um, Coach Adrian. So, with the uh, what, what pro- projects that I'm currently working on right now, um, on May 9, um, I'll be launching or we will going live on the second part of our lockdown virtual summit. So, I did this around April, nung una pong nalabas yung lockdown, it's just an extension. Um, may part to ito, and a lot of people have been re- requesting for part to rin kasi. So, um, andito po sila, Dingdong Dantes, um, John Orana, um, Riza Lana, uh, Sebastian, um, Ralph Laiko, and a lot of top leaders as well. 
Um, basically, the reason why I put this up is basically I want I want to inspire unity. Um, to a lot of Filipinos, kasi tayo tayo po yung ano nagkakalaban, nagsisiraan, di ba? So, dapat tayo po yung unang-unang nagkakaisa. Pangalawa, I'd like also to inspire appreciation and gratitude. Because in spite of the slowdown, sabi ni Coach Ade yan, napakaganda ng learning. Yeah, na, natasakay na tayo sa usage ng slowdown. <laughs> so in spite of this, um, ang dami po natin pwede yung pagpasalamat, di ba? Kesa po mag-run tayo, magreklamo sa social media. Um, even may bahay tayo, di ba? Nakakain tayo, kasama natin kompleto yung katawan natin. Di ba? Ang dami natin pwede yung pagpasalamat. And lastly, I also want to inspire hope. Because crisis like this is not surprising. It's actually a cycle already. Meron laging correction sa market. Meron laging, um, this happened um, eight, every eight to ten years. So, dapat prepare tayo dito. You know? So, pag nilipas din to guys, pagdadaanan din natin to. So, if you guys want to learn more about it, um, you can check it out on my Facebook page, MJ Aguilar, to search it. Um, so, you'll find more details about it. Yun lamang, Mentor Myron. Maraming salamat sa iyo. Uh, once again, uh, Coach MJ, maraming salamat sa pagsama sa amin at uh, definitely yung audience natin na enjoy ang kwentawanan with you. Once again, guys, that's the founder of Modern Jedi, Jedi Academy, Coach Mel John Aguilar. Thank you, Coach MJ. I'll see you around again. Okay, bye. All right, there you go. All right. And of course, hindi tayo matatapos <laughs> pang hindi rin natin binibigyan ng platform to promote uh, himself and his services. Coach Adrian Del Rosario, take it away, Coach. Okay, maraming, uh, unang-una maraming maraming salamat sa iyo, Myron, Mentor Myron, for this uh, great opportunity to be, uh, ano, uh, to be exposed. No? Alam ko, pag dumikit sa iyo, uh, talagang uh, kakaiba ang mangyayari. <laughs> talagang, uh, oh, alam niyo na, ay, dikit ka pa- kayo sa akin, ha? ha? <laughs> uh, dikit kayo kay Myron. In fact, tingin ko, kakailanganin ka namin. So, let me take this opportunity to promote, gaya ng sinabi mo. So, our company, uh, uh, Alliance in Motion Global, or we have this campaign of uh, empowered consumerism. We are empowering people, giving people, ordinary people, chance to become, uh, well, a business person, whoever you are, wherever you may be, may lockdown, may slowdown, may ECQ, lahat ng Q, we will help you out. Get in touch with, uh, of course, yung mga ibang audience natin dito. There are, there are about a uh, few of them watching. It may be, uh, you may be in uh, other countries, sa Africa, sa Philippines. Nandito po kami. We will help you out. We have, uh, we can assist you. And of course, uh, sa uh, pasalamat din ako sa aking wife na nanonood. <laughs> nanonood eh. My mentor. Kung may mentor Myron, meron ako mentor queen, si Clem. Uh, Clem Buenaventura, i-add mo daw siya kasi iba yung family name niya, mentor Myron. Kasi ang ginagamit niya, maiden name. Clem Buenaventura. Tapos ang picture niya doon yung aming uh, son who is in heaven. Yan, so Clem Benaventura. And of course, I'd like to take this opportunity, of course, uh, our Vice President, Sir Arnel Limpin, hindi ko pwedeng makalimutan to dahil Brother Myron, ito yung nag-mentor at nagbigay ng opportunity sa akin bago pa man mangyari yung mga ibang uh, mga crisis o lockdown. No? So, <laughs> Maraming so salamat, behind, Sir Arnel. The guy oh, si Sir Arnel. Oh, sabi nga niya rito sa akin, salute to you, Coach Myron. I think, Myron, alam mo, kakailanganin ka namin, we might... Uh, Get in touch with you because of your services. I've been, you know, I can see you can contribute a lot to our company. No? So I will get in touch with you definitely. Nako. Yan. So sa empowered consumerism community, people would die nako, with this. I'll get in touch with you, Myron, after this. Uh, I'll let you know. Kasi alam nyo po, o promote ko na rin. Si Myron, no? Coach Myron, Mentor Myron Santa Ana, eh nagtetrain po yan. Halos, nung pagtinignan nyo po sa dictionary ang salitang enter training, pasensya na kayo, mukha po niya ang nakalagay. You get enter, you get trained and you will be entertained and that is a guarantee. Napakagaling po nito. Kaya nung sinabi niya sa akin, Adrian, pwede ka bang sabi ko, na dati ko pa inaantay yan, Myron. Salamat <laughs> sa iyo talaga, Myron. And of course, if you want to get in touch with me, y- yung mga clients po ni Myron, you are in good hands. Maraming maraming salamat po for uh, you know listening to us. Uh, if you want to uh, uh, probably know more about what we do, what I do, get in touch with uh, Sir Myron, Mentor Myron, through our, ano ba, sa PAC. No? Marami po tayong, uh, pati po kay Myron. And uh, sa Facebook page na lang po, Adrian Del Rosario. Yan po, you can get in touch with me. So maraming maraming salamat po sa inyo. God bless you, Brother Myron. Patuloy God bless mo you, ito, family. 
Oh, hanga rin na uh, pagtulong sa alam ko yung puso mo ramdam na ramdam ko when we I met you a year ago. Kitang-kita ko na kaya sabi ko hindi ako nagsisisi talaga. Maraming salamat, bro. Maraming salamat. God bless you and Thank your you. family. Thank you, bro. And shout out kay, kay Boss Arnel uh, Limpin, tama? Yeah. Yes, Thank yes. You, sir, uh, ako naman ang didikit sa iyo, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Nako, alam mo, isa sa magaling na speaker din yan, napakagaling din yan. Uh, 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 Prior to being vice president, ang dami ring dinaan ng ano niya, napakaganda rin ang kwento niyan. Baka minsan subukan natin baka maimbita mo diyan sa kwentawa na nako, napakagaling sure, din. Sure, sure. Yes, sige. Oh, uh, ayan ko sa Facebook ni Sir Arnel Limpin, oh. I'm pretty yes, sure. Yes, Arnel Limpin. Okay, salamat bro. God bless you again. Enjoy, you. Enjoy the rest of your day, pare. Okay, chat Bye. chat. Bye. All right, there you go guys. Uh, once again, we've reached the end of our Kwentawana. Ito po yung bagong show natin. Ha? Online program every Wednesday and Saturday, 5pm to 6pm. Abangan nyo po ito. At uh, hindi lang si Coach MJ, hindi lang si Coach Adrian, mag-guest pa tayo ng maraming mga successful role model na mga hindi lang motivational, inspirational speakers kung hindi yung may mga results-oriented na entrepreneurs din. At sana sa unang episode natin, eh, uh, marami po tayong natutunan. Pakaabangan nyo po, no? meron pa tayong next episode. Uh, try natin mag-set uh, uh, this coming Saturday. Hopefully, we can uh, still uh, uh, advertise or promote it uh, sufficiently with, with in between. So, pakaabangan nyo po yan no? sa mga just chanced upon this para po kayo ay manotify sa ating paparating na live stream. I-like, follow nyo lang po ang aking Facebook page, Mentor Myron Santa Ana, sa facebook.com forward slash the corporate Enter trainer. Ayan. Sobrang dal-dal ko na. Dami ko na nasabi. Kaya tama na. <laughs> Pahinga na tayong lahat once again. Thank you so much and enjoy the rest of your day. Until the next show. Bye!